If you want to learn how to make a micro job website like Fiverr, Freelancer, and Upwork with WordPress, then you got to watch this video all the way through because I'm going to go over the high level overview of how you can do that and build a website just like this. Hi, I'm Vince. Did you know Institute? Institute? Let's get started. So the very first thing you want to take a look at this theme, just to make sure this is the type of website you want to build is, it's very similar to Fiverr. Right? And this is not just the only one. This is just a sample. You can go ahead and build something similar to Upwork if you like. And let's begin. I'm going to show you the very first step. All right. So the very first thing you're going to need is hosting and a domain. I use five cloud hosting because of the price. Now, what I would recommend if you're only using one website, I would recommend using the cloud starter. You can always upgrade later. It's only $770 for five years. And that's right, five years. So let me show you that what the competitors are charging. I used to use Namecheap. This is my old one right here. And this is what they're charging. All right. So for 488, this is like the very beginner package right here is $4.88 times that by 12. And you get $58 a year. All right. Now, if you pay a little bit more, you can go ahead and just get five years. Why not? All right. And not only that, the service is a lot better. So for example, if you need to install an SSD certificate for your domain, if you have problems installing your theme, if you have problems installing WordPress, you go ahead and type support and five cloud hosting will go ahead and help you out. Oftentimes they'll even install it for you or get you your SSD certificate on your domain name for free. I did the same thing with Namecheap and basically what they did was they just blew me off, sent me some documents and they didn't, they didn't really care. And the re reason why you get so little for Namecheap is big and why, but why everyone is, or a lot of people on YouTube is raving about Namecheap is simple. It's money. All right. So when you go to Namecheap, this is a commission rate for their affiliate program. All right. This is what they're, they're easily getting paid. You can see if you refer someone with her domain, you get 20%, uh, hosting packages, 35. So 35% of this price <laughs> goes to the affiliate versus if you go to five cloud hosting, it's maybe I think 10 or $20 once off. That's it. And I, I think it depends. It, it, it's it. That's it. 10 or $20 once off. And they like after that whatever they get is what they get. It all goes into the company. It all goes into the product, goes into the service. So that's why they basically they cut out all the fat and give you as much bang for your buck. And that's why I upgraded to the cloud hosting business of, um, sorry, 127 for five years. Cause I have two websites and all right. So once you want to get, go ahead and, uh, you picked out a domain name from five cloud hosting, you want to get went ahead and got a uh, hosting package. The next step you need to do, you need to go to a place called Envatu Marketplace. Let me go back to the beginning and you would have to type in freelance marketplace. Okay. So once you have done that, you would go ahead and, and you would filter based on WordPress. All right. Now this is all up to you. The website in the beginning of this video I showed you was from this one right here. All right, but they, they have other kind of themes as well. And you can go ahead and scroll down and see which one you like. Now, my suggestion to you when you're picking out a theme is that you pick one that's specialized for what you want. What I mean by that is ProLancer is only freelance marketplace. So if you go into their portfolio and if you were to buy this theme for around 60 bucks, they have, let me go into, let me just show you the live demo. It'll be easier. All right. They have different home pages. and you got this one right here, this one right here. They have this home page right here, this one right here. It's all a derivative of freelancing websites. So it's all focused on freelancing. Now, if you were to go ahead and ch check a look, take a look at the other ones, let me go down real quick. Like this, this one right here. Okay. This is a multi-purpose WordPress theme. I would not go with these. Let me show what I mean by that. I'm going to go with the live preview. So these are different demos you can go with and they have 
you can see this one. This is multi-purpose. This one has a main demo, printivity, glasses, medical. It has a hosting, construction, auto trader, gym, sports, minimum store, music, watch shop, architecture, jewelry, and, and a lot more. The problem with this is you think you're, you feel like you're getting more value for your, your money, but what you're essentially doing is you're just making your life a lot harder because now when you install this theme, you're going to have to filter out again and modify it to what you like versus if you pick something that's only already pre-built and specialized, not multi-purpose, but specialized in only freelancing, it'll make your customization and installation of the the theme that much easier. So I would recommend you would stick to maybe something that's specialized in freelancing. And let me just show you another alternative. If you don't like Fiverr, you might want to create something like Upwork. And this is something very similar to Upwork. So you can go ahead and check this out. Let me maybe go to this first homepage. Wait for it to load real quick. And then you have the interface right here. And it's very similar to work like Upwork. All right. So let me show you what this would look like right here. And it has an hourly rate. See, so it's very similar to Upwork, the style right here. So whatever theme you like, you can go ahead or pick it out. Whether you like a freelance Upwork type of theme, you can pick it here. Or if you like a Fiverr type of theme, you can go ahead and, and do that as well. And so that's the flexibility when it comes down to the marketplace. Let me go ahead and get out of this. All right, it all depends on the theme. And the reason why I pick Envato Marketplace is because what I buy from here works. And if it doesn't work, I can go ahead and refund it. This is me speaking from experience. Everything I teach you, I like to speak from experience or from research or case studies. But this is me showing you exactly. I've went ahead and purchased many things from here. And this is a th my personal theme for my own website. This is what it looks like. So I actually downloaded it right here. I paid for support for, I think two years and then I let it expire. That's up to you. That's your personal preference. But if you can see, if you want to see my, what my website looks like, this is the theme I use and I've, I do exactly everything I, I show you. All right. So I bought a theme from here. I also use this hosting right here. All right. And then once you purchased the theme, okay, you would have to go into your, your hosting and then install WordPress. Let me go ahead and show you what that would look like for my website real quick. Okay. So I would just log in and then this is what the website looks like. So what, once you download, once you purchase your, your theme from the LM, the Invatu marketplace, you would go ahead and download it. And then from there, you would just install it. And the way you do that is you would pretty much go into your appearance themes, and then you would upload it into here and then add new theme, All right? And then from there you have your, your personal, you would have your, your personal freelance micro job website, like Fiverr, you would obviously have to modify it. You would have to add your own text, your own logo, and maybe have your own profile. And to get started, like if you're good at uh, logo design, or if you're good at certain things, you can go ahead and add your own jobs to your own website to help kick, kickstart your own website. And then from there, you can always advertise on other social media channels. I would recommend using Cora or YouTube. All right. So I hope this video was helpful. And if it was, could you please hit the like button? Vince from Digital Man Institute. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.